Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Happy Saturday. I'm going to start this off on Saturday. So today is the 24th. It is 9.28 a.m. Um, I gave the kids breakfast. Uh, I just changed the baby and I'm about to just enjoy the rest of my coffee. That's probably warm. I mean, that's probably, yeah, like warm, but like lukewarm. Um, we didn't do much yesterday. I did have to run a couple errands. Um, I tried my best to do one um, major errand and I was inspect my husband's car, um, you know, kind of under the table. Um, and I couldn't because it had colds, um, like the check engine light, um, and it had several of the colds. Um, so he, the guy, he erased it and then told me to drive it for like an hour and then come back. But the thing is, that's like in another town. So like I have to hop on the highway and then, you know, and I was with the baby and he was acting cranky. And then, um, I, I had went back and you know after like i went I, I drove for like 30 something minutes and then i was like all right maybe like this is good so then i drove back um he put the machine in that goes under the um the steering wheel um and it still showed it didn't the the check engine light didn't pop up on the dashboard but it popped up on the machine again and he was just like i need you to drive further um he's like where'd you go and i was like i went back to prov and then I guess I just let you guys know where the fuck I lived in Rhode Island. <clears throat> That's crazy. Um, so I just disregard that part. Um, don't come for me because I'm gonna come for you. Okay, I'm serious. Um, yeah, so um, I couldn't go back because at that time my oldest called me and told me that he was hungry, and then the baby was cranky. Um, it was time for him to eat as well. It was like noon, um, and so I came back home and I was just like. I'll stay here for a little bit and then I'll go back. Um, I didn't end up going back. I ended up having like the most debilitating headache of my life. Um, and I didn't like at that point, like I didn't understand why I had like that bad of a headache. Um, I'm not a breakfast eater. I'll just have my coffee. Um, and then I'll eat around like one or two when i start making you know prepping dinner um i'll munch on something and then i'll eat dinner and then i only eat once a day um i know that's bad um but that's just the way i am and hopefully i'll change soon um you know be healthier in my eating habits um but i didn't realize that i hadn't ate for three days um and that's sad I just, I don't, I'm not a type of person that has an appetite. I got to force myself to eat. Um, many reasons. Um, one could possibly be the medications that I'm taking, you know, it suppresses my hunger. Um, it could be that I'm just too overstimulated and overwhelmed to just sit down and enjoy a meal. Um, as a mom, you know, when, you know, you're cooking, cleaning, and you're tending to the kids, by the time it's time for you to eat, you're not even hungry anymore. Um... Baby, don't start with the chair. Leave the chair alone. Leave it. Thank you. <sighs> he loves that chair. It just makes so much noise, as you can hear. Um, so yeah, it could be a lot of factors. But long story short, I hadn't ate for three days. I didn't realize I didn't eat. That's crazy. Um, so my husband came home and asked me, like, you know, what happened? Was I able to do that? And I was just like, no, like, I really don't feel good. I don't know what's going on with my head. It's throbbing. It feels like somebody's, like, hitting me with a sledgehammer and, like, my eye was watering. Um, and I know what a headache and a migraine is, but it didn't feel like a migraine because I wasn't sensitive to light or sound. But it was just, like, throbbing and, like, my eyes were getting watery. Um, I remember yelling at my middle... Adrian! Stop! I remember yelling at my middle child, Liam. Um, and I yell at my kids. Um, I don't... You know, it, it's just... It It comes with adulthood, parenthood, whatever the hood. Um, I yelled at him because he wasn't paying attention to the baby. And the baby almost fell. Um, and so I yelled and then all of a sudden... I got dizzy, my heart rate went up, um, my left 
body side side of my body started shaking um i got so dizzy and i passed out yeah passed out i didn't know i passed out until i like got up and i was like what the hell so that was before my husband came home from work and then you know eventually he did come home and I was telling him like that this headache is like crazy it's throbbing it's making me so more agitated i can't take a nap because it hurts okay. i've taken four ibuprofen since it started um and it was just non-stop so he was just like karma like you have not eat i have not seen you eat in the past three days and i was like i'm just not hungry and he was just like that's the reason why you're feeling this way. Your body is giving up on it. You know, it's like shutting down. Um, it's trying to harbor, you know, nutrients. And I was just like, oh, shit. So he was just like, you know, let's go get something to eat. Um, he was like, you want sushi? And I was just like, no. I mean, I haven't had sushi in a long time, but I I, I didn't want it. Um, and then he said, let's go get Chipotle. And I was just like, mm, I'm not hungry. But I was just like, I got to force myself to eat. So we went, we got Chipotle. We came back. I ate about not even half of that and my head was still hurting um and we got starbucks i got an acai refresher um strawberry acai refresher and um take that chair away from him put it back hurry up stop kids man especially the boys no touch so um we came back home i ate a little bit um i put it away um the headache didn't go away i want to say for like maybe like next within the next three hours it started subsiding um and i gotta do better i gotta take care of better health take better care of my health sorry because i am just on go all the time I am not fueling my body right. I am not eating three meals a day. I'm not snacking two times a day. Um, but I will say that I do get hungry during at night. And <clears throat> you see me like a raton in the cocina, like a, a mice in the kitchen, like just snacking, snacking, snacking. Um, so I just got to do better. And I'm going to start doing better. I'm going to force myself to eat. Um, I didn't eat breakfast at all today. Um, so go eat. Go find something. Um, so yeah, there's cereal and there's pancakes. Go ahead. Pick what you want. Um, so I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, I gotta do better. I'm gonna start doing better. Not today. Because I already fucked up. I didn't eat breakfast. Um, I'm drinking my coffee and that's about it. So, um, yeah, and then yesterday afternoon, I want to say like around 6.30, 7 o'clock, um, I met up with uh, Michael Mine, which is um, my kid's godmother, and we ended up at Target. All I really needed from Target was just trash bags and um, dish soap. So I bought that, and then I bought like juice and um, cheese, um, little bites. Um... And then we went into Ulta, and I was just like, bitch, why do you do this to me? I have not been to Ulta in a grip. Um, it's just, I haven't been to Ulta because I haven't really been doing my makeup, as you guys can see. Like, you know, I, I haven't done a get ready with me um, in a while. Um, I just, I don't want to wear makeup. You know, the most I'll do is throw on some lashes, but because I have extensions right now, I really don't. Um, and I'll do like, you know, the beginning of my eyebrows and that's it. And a little bit of lip gloss. Um, I mean, lip balm, um, lip gloss, if that, and then that's it. That's all I do. Um, do I want to get back into my makeup? Of course I spent thousands of dollars on makeup and it's not being used. So I got to get back into that. That's another thing I got to do. Um, it's summertime, you know, I got to make the most of it, you know, so I'm going to be doing that and it's just stay tuned for that um but yeah so we went into ulta and this bitch got approved a while ago for um the credit card the ulta credit card and i got denied 
I want to say like two or three years ago. Um, and that's because of my credit. Um, my credit's not that great. Um, I'm working on it, but you know, it takes time to build credit when you don't have credit. Um, and it's not as easy as just getting a credit card and, you know, thing. It's, it's a lot, um, especially being in it from a Hispanic household, you know, your parents put your name on the gas bill, the late bill, this, that. So, you know, like I'm working on it. Um, God willing, you know, I'll be in the 700s, 800s, um, whatever, ranting. Um, yeah, so she ended up buying the brand new um, Chi uh, Barbie collab straightener. Um, and she had like, I think like 56 points and she only had to pay like 70 something dollars for the flat iron and it was like originally 110 and I was like, girl, you like, you got some luck. And she was just like, yeah, I know. Um, and so I was just like, like, are you going to do my hair? Like, you know, can you bless my hair? Cause that's who I go to sometimes. If I don't go to my hair lady at the salon, I go to her and this bitch has like hands hands i got hands but i don't like doing my hair anymore because it's so long you know what i'm saying so i told her i was like can you bless my hair like i have somewhere to go to on sunday and she was just like yeah i got you and i was just like girl yes let's get it so i'll be going there today um to get my hair done it's already washed it this is my natural hair it used to be curly, um, but I've done a lot of damage to it with heat. Um, I didn't. I used to dye my hair back when, like, I was a teenager. I've went copper. I've went um, semi light blonde, um, and then I went back to black. Um, and I've been black ever since. My hair is naturally dark. It's like a very, very dark brown. It almost looks fucking pitch black. Um, and so, you know, I do my hair, like I said, every two weeks. Um, I've trained my hair not to get too oily and too stinky um, by doing that. And um, it's been working for me ever since. My hair is very long. It's healthy in the sense of like it's soft and it's not brittle. I don't have split ends, but I lost my curl pattern. Um, and you can see a little bit of my curl pattern like in between my hair um, that it wants to come out. But other than that, it's just wavy. Um, and see, like you can see like a little bit like it wants to be curly. But but I never had like the tight curls. Um, you know, I'm half Dominican, half Puerto Rican. Um, and I never had them tight, tight curls to begin with. I've had just the, you know, ring curls. Um, and I, I haven't had my hair like that since I was like nine. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be getting my hair done today. I'm excited for that. And I'm excited that my kids are going to be able to see her kids. It's been a long time, you know, with her working long hours and then getting home and being exhausted and dealing with four kids. And I get it. Um, and we just been living our lives and doing what we got to do to raise our kids. And, you know, we lost touch for a little bit, but um, we got back and like nothing happened um so i gifted her she ended up coming to my house after that and i gifted her three perfumes um that mm -hmm. i like but i don't really reach for and then one of them i already had um and so because you know she blessed me she's blessing me with doing my hair i was just like you know the least i can do is do something nice for you too so i gave her the mark jake is perfect um, and the Versace, um, I believe it's the red jeans and blue jeans. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember the name. Um, and she was infatuated with that perfume growing up. Her mom had bought it for her and her brother. Um, and she was just like, no way. Like she was so excited, you know? Uh, and I like making people happy, you know, I, that's just my thing. I like making people smile. I like making them feel good. So if I was able to do that, you know, that made me feel good. Um, and I'm like that with anybody. Um, so, yeah, so I gifted her those three perfumes. And then um, I'm just waiting for her probably to wake up, you know, um, and tend to the kids and get the kids situated and then probably head over. Uh, my husband's working today. He's out. Um out of state um he is coming back today but he picked up a small shift today so it's just me and the boys at home right now give me that give me that i'm wondering why my ear pop give me give me on the floor right there no right here look it on the floor give me that 
I'm wondering why my earpods are going in and out, and it's because he's playing with my earpods. I was wondering, I was just like, I'm, I'm deaf. I mean, I'm blind. I'm not deaf. Um, <laughs> kids, man, this they just get into everything. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what I um have planned for today. I'll bring you guys along with me to her house. Um, I'm not gonna record too much of her. She doesn't, you know, she's not a very social media person. And I'm playing with a pimp one. I shouldn't. Let me stop. Um, she's not a very social media person. She's very a private person, very to herself. So like, I'll probably just record like her doing like a couple layers of my hair, and then record the kids playing. And so yeah, so my husband's calling. Um, I'll be back in a little bit. So let me enter that. All right. Hi guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Manifesting a good day, good week. I'm starting this vlog off obviously on Tuesday. Um an early, very early morning. I'm always yawning. It wouldn't be a fucking video if I wasn't yawning, right? Anyways, um, brought my mom to the airport drove her to logan i was up at 3 45 she's going to puerto rico for her birthday Woo! so i set her off and her birthday's tomorrow she's excited she's nervous she hasn't been to puerto rico in over a decade um i came back and on the way back i was more tired than i was going there i was falling asleep like crazy um, and I, you know, I was driving. I was by myself. Um, but yeah, I'm just making my bed. I made my bed, cleaning up a little bit, doing laundry. Got a lot of laundry to do. Um, and that's pretty much. I got an appointment later for my foot again. And um. I'm just exhausted guys I'm so tired um I don't remember falling asleep last night but I, I went to sleep early though um so I don't know if I wanted to do this video today but I probably should you know what fuck it let's show you I was gonna make it like its own little video, but I guess I can do like a little video, updated video about it. Let me just clean it up a little bit. Cause there is a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my updated perfume collection, which ones I got new. Um, all right, so this is what it looks like. I just dropped my fan, beautiful. That's what it looks like. Let me just pick up my fan. Okay, so the new ones that I got was the Carolina Herrera blush. And this alone smells good, but it smells even better when you mix it with the Burberry Her, the original. As you see, it's almost gone. Bye-bye. 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 Papa. Okay, we're gonna make this quick because he wants a bottle. So I got another one of the YSL Nikkei Intense. He dropped the fan again. Mine is almost done. My favorite. I keep my favorites right on front on these sides. Um, we already know this is my signature scent, the Aqua de Gioa. And then I got Aqua de Ocean de Gior, which is pretty good too. Third fave is the YSL. I don't know which one this one's called. I think it's Mon Perry. I only have a little bit. Um, newest one 
Another new one is the Coach Rose. It smells really good. Don't mind the baby crying in the back. What is it saying? Notes are Grosel, Accord Rose, Sauvage, and Bro, Red Current, Brow Rose, or Cold, Accord, and Ambrox. Um, it smells like roses. It smells really good. Um, I got the Paradise C Passion, but it's really Passione. Put that down over here. I got the Jimmy Choo I Want Choo. I got the Flash by Jimmy Choo. That one smells amazing. I got Miss Dior, which is right here. I already opened her up and been using her. Miss Dior. Miss Dior, Miss Dior. And then I have another YSL Mon Paris. So this one is this one, but more intense, more intense version. Which I'm so excited about. Let's put that back. Then I got the Paco Rabanne. Love the bottle. You spray it like that. It smells really, really good. And then I told you guys about this one already the Hugo Double X. And it's a very unisex, clean smell. I've been using it a lot. I have the Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana Garden. Still in the box. Smells really good. I haven't used that one yet. I did spritz this one once. It's Dolce & Gabbana Rose. Looks like that. Very cute. Very cute. Let's put this back over here. Uh, which else is new? The Coach Dreams. I've been using that. It's very cute, flowery. You spritz it like that. Um, and then I really thought I would like this one. The way um, North Bondi. Let me open it up. Um, it looks like that. It smells very. Let me spit that. I can tell you guys what it smells like. At first, it smells like alcohol. So, but it has like a very manly smell, which I like. Don't get me wrong, I like manly smells because I have colognes as well but like I don't know there's just something about it that I, I just don't and then we already know I have all the daisies so I have the daisy ever so fresh um the Mark J's of daisy the original this is the daisy Mark Jane no, Mark Jacobs intense so that's the version of that one that's intense no this one I'm sorry Daisy, and then this is the intense. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys this way. Um, and then this is the other Mark Jacobs. I forgot the name of this one. Let's see if it's in the bottom. It's not, but I have all the daisies, and then I have the Daisy Love. This is another new one, and when I say I am obsessed, this is like my fourth favorite. I would actually prefer this one before the YSL Montpellier. So I guess this would be my third favorite, and it's the um, Jador, I think it's called Fresh or Flower. But, oh my god, guys, I got the little one. Um, They didn't have the big one in stock, so I bought the little one. Um, and this is like a second signature scent and it smells very, 
very clean like you just got out the shower so I'm gonna move that on that side but I'm gonna show you what I got first uh, uh, my son's bottle okay um this is the Tory Birch this is perfect by Marc Jacobs very good very good this one I forgot which oh Ariana Grande I have way Melrose Place I'm almost done love it have another Ariana Grande I don't go for these Ariana Grande scents I thought I would like it but I don't this is the Dolce & Gabbana the one I have a backup for this one because I do love it. And I got two body sprays that I got from Bath & Body Works for free for my perks. I got Into the Night and Love Always. They smell really good. I got Gucci Guilty um, Intense. The Ralph Lauren uh, Romance. Really good, really good. Um, I got Flora by Gucci. It's very strong. This one I got from Charlotte Roos and it smells so good. Refuge Adore. I'll show you the other one that I go to more than that one. I have the Burberry Hair. Of course, I showed you that. I have the Marc Jacobs. Um, perfect. Uh, this one is it's different than this than this one um but they both smell good i have chance by chanel as you can see love it showed you that one this is tommy hill figure tommy girl love it i showed you those in the back uh, this is i love this one this is the Oh my god, what is it called? Oh my god, what is it called? I just had a brain moment. La Vie Spell. Oh my god, this smells so good. I got the big bottle of that. I showed you the Paco Rabanne. I got the Gucci Bloom. I got a backup of the Paradox from Prada because I am obsessed. That's like my fifth favorite. Back here is, um, I don't want to take it down because then this will fall. But this is the, um, Mark, I mean, not Mark Jacobs, um, Michael Kors. Um, which one is it? Now I gotta, now I want to tell you guys which one it is. So hold on. I think it's Wonderlust. Oh, let me open it. If I can open it. I'm trying to use one hand. Some I keep in boxes, some I don't. Obviously, sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to open it and hold the camera at the same time. Oh, I need to buy a big tripod, a stand tripod, because this little tripod thing situation that I got going on isn't working. All right, so I got it. All right, so this is the Michael Kors. This is what it looks like. It's very. I think it's the original. Um, I had the mini. I'll show you it very good very strong very feminine so i'll put that back in the box but keep moving i have escada by santorini sunrise or santorini sunrise by escada very summery scent that's what that is So moving on, I have the Gucci Bloom Roll-On, the pink one. This is an oil you put on before you put your perfume so it lasts long. I don't know where I got this from. I think I got it from like BoxyCharm or something. Or Sense Scentsy. So that's really good. But my perfumes last on me a lot, so I don't even bother. I got Coach Floral Blush, travel size. And then I got a mini, look how cute. 
This is the Dolce um, and Gabbana, the pink one that's over there. I got the mini, so that's garden. I got another coach. This is Coach New York. It's dusty because it's back there. Sorry, guys. I didn't expect to make this video, but I wanted to get it out the way. I have the Montpery YSL on the travel, and that I'm going to put in my purse because I have a mini other of the Aqua de Gio. So I'm going to put that there just in case, you know, when you want to switch it up. Um, this one is, oh, this is Eternity. And then this is a female one. And I, I'm going to put this in my purse too. I love this one. As you can see, there's only just a little bit in there. Very unisex, clean, um, subtle, but I get a lot of compliments. So I want to get the bigger version of this. Um, my dad has Eternity, um, obviously for men's. And that's all he wears until I buy him different colognes. I have another mini Gucci Bloom. So let's put that back. This one, I don't remember if who this one was. This came in a set. I think it's Ariana Grande. Has to be. Okay, so let's put those back. And I put them like that and they fall. So see, this is the mini Marc Jacobs. And as you can see, it's very well used. So that's why I got a bigger version. Alright, so let's put these little minis back. This one I lost a cap to and it's dirty because I don't reach for it. But this is the Jimmy Choo... Um... It doesn't even say. I don't know. I think it's just the original Jimmy Choo. I don't reach for it as often. I don't know. Don't ask me where the cap is. I don't fucking know. Here's another Jimmy Choo. This one is brand new. This one is Jimmy Choo. Let oh. I can't see it because of the light. Mm, if it focuses. I get area because my son is quiet. I don't know what he's up to. This is the Chloe All Natural. Like that one. And then this is uh, Night by Refuge. This is from Charlie Roos. Um, back here I have Nomade. And this is, I think this is by, yep, Chloe. Smalls like my dad's mom my grandmother from my my dad's side it's not bad because she always smells so good i have another ysl um this one is it doesn't say i bought it and i forgot that like it's there so i don't remember back here i have versace yellow crystal these were like my first perfumes. Versace Bright Crystal. So I was infatuated with this one. And I only wear it sporadically because I have a little bit. And I got to order it on Amazon or eBay because they discontinued it. But it's Victoria's Secret Love Star. Ooh. So this one, this one, and this one were like my fave perfumes. And then I ended up buying this one and then this one became my fave this is my fourth bottle guys fourth bottle i am not playing with you you always want to if you wonder not always if you want to wonder what i smell like this is what i smell like all the time it's my go-to all right so moving on over here i got the dylan blue by versace love it this one is um, Valentino, um, the original. Oops, knocking things down. And then this is Valentino Intense. So it has, I can tell which one is the original, which is this one. And then the darker burgundy color 
is um, the intense. Um, all right, so I showed you those. All right, so coming over here, I have the Big Jador Original. And I love this smell. I used to wear it as a teenager. I used to take it from my ex-girlfriend's mom. <laughs> she used to get mad at me um, when I used to like spritz it all the time when I went to her house. Um, and right before school. That's what I smell like in high school. <laughs> Everybody had like, you know, Bath and Body Works and peach. I mean, not what is it? I, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I got the Haiku um, Kyoto Flower. I have the Armani Code. It's a women's perfume. It smells really good. Really right up my alley because I like, you know, smelling sometimes like a guy. There's another cologne. This is the y YSL. Um, I don't know the name. But it smells delicious. I still get compliments as a girl wearing it. I showed you the blush. This is the Carolina Herrera red. And then this is the black. Black one. Um, I have another YSL um, perfume. I believe this one is the Intense. Yeah, that's the intense. All right, so moving on, I got Kate Spade Sparkle. Haven't used that one yet, but I want to. This one I'm almost done with, and this is the Giorgio Armani My Way. Another fave. Need a re up on that one. Another Kate Spade, and this is New York. Haven't used it. I haven't used none of the case spades yet. I'm trying. It's like I I spray perfume and they're dusty. Sorry, that's what I'm doing. Um, I gotta clean them. Um, I wear a different perfume every day. But my everyday, everyday, everyday one is the Aqua de Gioa. But I wear a, you know, wherever I'm going, I pick a different perfume. So as you can see, some of them are more emptier than others, and some of them are still brand new and I haven't worn them yet. Um, I have the Gucci Bamboo. Love it. Smells really good. And then I showed you that one. I'm missing one. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not refuse. Is it? No, I'm missing a Charlotte Rouge one. Let me smell it. It can't be this one. No, somebody must have robbed me. What the fuck? But it's a it's from Charlotte Rouge, and it's not Refuge, and it's not Nights. I don't know where it's at. Whoever stole it, I hope you burn. Let me stop. Um, over here I got the Burberry. Um, this is oh god, this is. I believe this is her too. But this one is more of the clear blue version. And then the original Burberry Hair is like a pink. Um, I showed you that. Yep. So I showed you those. Let me put everything back because I am very anal about things being put back in place. So I'm not going to put the box of the Michael Kors. I'm just going to put it like that. And then put the flash on there. It's going to be a little bit lopsided. But yeah, so I did give away a few perfumes that were brand new in the box um, to family members. Um, not that I didn't like them. Um, it's just that maybe I got them and they weren't like my scent, you know, I have a certain Scent to myself not to myself, but like my pheromones work with certain perfumes better than others 
so that's but um that's why I give them away I do want to show you my little um, Bath and Body Works collection so I'm gonna show you I have Fairy Tale by Bath and Body Works the body spray really good somebody said it reminds me of Bac it, it reminds them of Baccarat 540 um, and then my go-to for body sprays is of course the snowflakes and cashmere it's my go-to I have the snowflakes and cashmere mousse to oil and then I have the snowflakes and cashmere body lotion diamond shimmer that's what it looks like and then oh I didn't show you this one so this is the Carolina Herrera bad boy the cologne for men um, it's my husband's but I use it too so smells delicious just want to keep having babies just kidding um, alright so over here I'm just gonna flip the camera this let me move this alright so up here I have beautiful day by Bath and Body Works I have Victoria's Secret Love. I wish it was Love Star. I have these snowflakes and cashmere body lotion. It's literally empty, kind of. I have like maybe one, a little bit, like when I'm, so I take a shower now. It's done. But guess what? I have a backup snowflakes and cashmere body cream, of course. Okay, let's move that. Um, this is my Bath and Body Works candle, Seesaw and Neroli. I am done with it. So I gotta get rid of that. But that's where I had you guys pop up in the beginning. I don't know what the, all those are batteries for um, my car. Um, remote. I got this smells amazing. Fresh sparkling snow. This with Aqua de Gior, I get so many compliments from. Um, I have another fave an old fave winter candy apple little backstory um i used to wear this a lot back when i was younger um and when my grandmother passed away god rest her soul um i wanted to remember her in a scent and i put this on her i was there to do her hair and her makeup um before you know the funeral and i spritzed the body spray and i put lotion on her and this was the one i chose I can't bring myself to use it because I get very sentimental. So that's that. Winter Candy Apple. I'll never get rid of it. A new fave is Coco Paradise. An old school fave is Moonlight Path. I also smell like that in middle school. Um, crisp Orchard Leaves. Damn. This is Magic in the Air Ultra Shea Body Cream. I'm gonna take these out and put them on my bed and I'll fix it after. I have this is a room spray, um, Hearth and Hand with Magnolia Willow Room Spray. It smells really good. Don't use it as often because I got the wall plugins. This is another room spray. This is Marshmallow Musk. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Marshmallow Musk. It's almost empty. I do like the smell of that. It is strong. goes a long way. Um, Moonlight Path Body Spray. I don't know why my te camera temperature is low. Um, I have the Fairy Tale Glowing Body Butter. And then the Winter Candy Apple Body Butter. And then Jergens Original Scent. That's an oldie but goodie. Um, I have another Snowflakes and Cashmere Body Spray. So once mine is done, I have another one. And then I have another lotion, of course, of Snowflakes and Cashmere. And the reason I stuck up on this was because they only sell it in the winter time. And it's like my go-to scent. Um, I have Snowy Morning. This is a new one smells really good 
use it a couple times dark kiss i really don't go for this one as often i'll probably just give it away this one smells really good too one in a million and then i have misty morning this one smells really good too so that is my collection let me put this one over here and then these so I put them in the way that I use them. Um, one in a million. I don't use Moonlight Path right now. Um, where is Orchard Leaves? Then one in a million. Um, Coco Paradise. Snowy Morning. And then sparkling fresh snow and the snowflakes and cashmere so that's how I use them even though this one is used but matter of fact yeah let me put that one back there like that snowy morning fresh sparkling snow so let's put them back this is like a little clean with me guys clean and organized with me um, Alright, so I'm going to put Magic in the Air back there. Um, Snowflakes and Cashmere, the new one. Then I'm going to put the first one here. I'm going to put Winter Candy Apple there. Love. Um, the marshmallow musk scent and then I'll put the willow I gotta hurry up because I bet you my son is on top of his brother's bed um, I'm gonna put beautiful day there I usually keep that in a purse um, actually I'm gonna take these out That's my watches I don't know if you guys are interested but I can show you what my watch is get my son sunglasses and I keep my sunglasses on this thing right here um if you ever wondered what my family looks like this is my family so that's my middle son Liam that's my oldest right there the second one of course that's me I was pregnant with Adrian and that is my husband and the theme was leaves and green. I love it. They did an awesome job. They brought my dream come. They made my dream come true. So I put that there. I gotta get a frame. Put that there. Okay, so let me move this. And then I'll put the moonlight path. And these snowflakes cashmere. I might as well move them. These ones too. And just put them there. So I'm going to put the fairy tale right there. And then cashmere right there. Right there. That looks good. And then I have space right here. Let me take these batteries yeah. out. So the camera temperature was hot sorry I cut off but I wanted to show you my watches I don't know if you guys like watches but I have a Michael Kors watch looks like that it still has the tag on it I don't wear watches but I wanted to get a watch and it was a gift um, it was 225 and that's just letting you know it's real um, that's my Michael Kors watch and then I have a Tory Burch watch and it's like a bracelet slash um, thing because of the long strap and it's an orange great for the summertime still have the tag on it haven't wore it yet my son is mopping the floor I'll show you in a minute what he's doing 
um, I have a fossil mini small old school watch very cute I love the gold tones I only wear gold I don't know why I got the micro I, well not that I got it, it was a gift for my husband but um, he knew better but I still did it um, and then I have a versus watch black and gold Um, this was another gift from him. Um, so, yeah. That is an updated perfume haul. Little tour. Um, now, this spot is empty. And that means I need to get more candles. So, hubby, if you're watching, you know what time it is. I don't have more candles. Um, my son brought the mop. I've been cleaning. Get out here right now. So, my son is in the bathroom with my middle son. Come on, Adrian, let's go. Here, you want Baba? Baba. Come get Cheche. Come get Cheche. Come on. Let's go get Cheche. Let's go. Leave your brother alone in the bathroom. Come on, let's go get Chichi. See if I can pick him up with one hand. Let me get his bottle, actually. Come on, let's go get Chichi. I love that he walks now, but like, it's like, it's sad. I don't have a baby anymore. Come on. Ooh, you almost fell there, buddy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you shy? Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. He loves the stairs. Da, da, da. Yeah. Don. Oh, you hit your head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Papa's. All right, sit on here. Sit on the couch while I give you chuche. My living room is a mess. I would show you, but that's embarrassing. I have clean clothes all over the couch. And I have a pile of dishes. This is real life mom life. So that's what you get. So um anybody else been feeling like very drained with no motivation and no energy? That's been me lately. Like I don't know what's my problem. I mean, I know I'm anemic, and I probably should check my my um, iron levels or my vitamin. Um, is it vitamin D or is it C? I think it's D. I gotta get that checked out. So hopefully, I gain some energy. Cause our B is exhausted. So yeah. I guess I can show you what I gotta deal with in the sense of laundry. Here. So my other son, my oldest son is down here playing. But I have all these to fold. That's the baby laying down right there, and that's my oldest son playing on his phone and then that's my kitty corner i had to push my coffee table that way because he like my my baby like to open up the the doors and one of them is broken um this should not be there because it's hiding the fish tank eddie in eddie in what are you doing What are you doing? Clean up that mess. So this is the fish tank. The light is broken. Like it flickers and you see them how they go crazy. I feel so bad. See how it goes in and out. So we just turn it off and I gotta feed them. So let me feed them.
and this is what they eat. It's a uh, goldfish pellets. Just thinks like oh hell. And then I just stick my finger with my nail and drop it. And then they go crazy. Sometimes they get stuck on my nail. I do two scoops, even though it's supposed to just be one, but I just want to make sure that they eat. And then this is the 5 in 1 texture. That's just to check the water. And then we have these. We had a beta fish, but he died. So we have that there. I don't know why I still have that there. Why, baby? You done? Yeah. You done? Yeah. I done? Okay. Yeah. I just lit my candle warmer. And this is my AirPod case. It's very flimsy. I liked it because it was pink and it looked like a sweater, but it's like very flimsy. I don't like that. I don't know why it's in. Um, and then this is my little decor. You know, um, I have Adrian's baby picture with a dead flower on it. Um, that was my baby when he was yeah. first born at the hospital. I should not be there. And then that's me and my oldest kids. They were younger. Then I have like a little thing that says family and you know, little things. This broke. I actually made this for my own baby shower. Um, I grabbed a vase. I filled it up with um, fake eucalyptus and um, gold flakes. It's very really dusty because it's old. Um, and then I glued a plate on it. And my son was playing with the ball inside the house and broke it, as you can see. Look. I should just take that off and just throw it away. I don't want to get rid of it because like I made it and it's sentimental. And this is always lit, but they broke it as well. Because it was on top of there. Yeah, I'm talking about you guys. Um, this doesn't go there. Throw this on Josh. These are my Mother's Day flowers. They're obviously dead, but like I liked it the way they died, the roses, so I just left them. And then fun fact, this is the beer that I, um, after my mom passed away, my grandmother, um, it's closed, I've never opened it, um, it was out of a 24 pack that I drink, and I just keep it for memories for her because, not that we used to drink together, but... After I lost her, obviously, I started drinking more, um, which is not good, but hey, working on it. And then this is her corner, her dedicated corner. So that's my grandmother, my lady, my love of my life, Lucy. She's so beautiful. I love you, mom. Um, I have a La Fe en la Oración. It's a prayer book in Spanish. Um, this was also from my baby shower. Um, just little um, things with tea light candles. I put that there. Here she is in an urn. Love you, mom. And then this was the clip that I told you guys that I bought. And I put in her hair when um, we last seen her. And I took it with me as a souvenir. There's another one. And then I made this as well for my baby shower. And then that was... Hello? Yeah. Nothing. Hold on. Some welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, hello. It's been a couple days since I last vlogged. Uh, I've just been having like a lot to do and like I just forget to grab my camera and go or I don't charge the battery um and I have three 
um they're charging now this one's fully charged so i'm gonna do an oldie but goodie quick little get ready with me a little bit of an update um what i've been up to um and in the last segment i did a um updated perfume haul um my old ones of course and then some of the new ones that i got my most favorite ones that i wear and what sort of they smell like so if you're interested in um buying a perfume um just watch that part of the video you know um so yeah let's prep the skin so first i'm going to prep my skin with my mist and my vanity is a mess so i hope i find everything um, I'm going in with the Mana Kadar uh, Hydrating Face Mist first. That's what it looks like. It smells so good. I'm like halfway done with it. A little goes a long way. Where's the cap? I just had the cap. Oh, I guess not. Okay. And I'm just going to like rub that in. My tooth still hurts. Um, They called me and told me that uh, they scheduled me for July 10th um that's like a week and a half away i've been struggling so bad with my tooth pain um and in my last video somebody commented how was my foot doing um it's healing um i'm able to walk on it without the boot um but technically when i went to my appointment last week they did want me to wear the boot for two more weeks just to be sure that i wouldn't have any problems going forth um i don't listen i'm hard-headed I gotta do what I want um so I haven't been wearing my boot um but like I said it hasn't been as painful so um and I have a high tolerance for pain um so that's why I didn't know that I had broke it I thought I had just sprained it and I was fine up until I wasn't fine you know once I noticed that it was swollen yeah it was like yeah something's wrong um but yeah I had cracked it in two different spots um, they took another x-ray it said it did say that you know it was healing but it was not fully healed yet um, I did have to go to a therapy appointment for it and I missed it because the orthopedic doctor didn't tell me he said that I was all set um, he didn't say anything about um, you know going to physical therapy or anything like that so when they called me they kind of caught me off guard and was like we have you scheduled for tomorrow and this was for um friday and they called me thursday of last week and i had a lot of things to do friday so i missed it um i might call them i might not i don't know what i'm gonna do and i'm using the the roche pose double repair face moisturizer with spf um that's what i'm putting on my face right now just to double moisturize my face because I do have combination skin and get oily and I'm trying to incorporate SPF more in my routine uh, so just let that dry a little bit um but yeah um on Tuesday I Tuesday morning I woke up at, at like 3:45, and i brought my mom to the airport um we sent her off to puerto rico for her birthday um and i drove all the way to boston to lugan to drop her off and the ride there was fine it was pouring like cats and dogs um it was fine it was smooth i prayed you know to get there safely and come back home safely um she went with one of her friends um so we all drove there i drove obviously um, in my car and I dropped her off and she was nervous and excited because she hasn't been to Puerto Rico in over a decade um, so she was happy to you know be going back um, and obviously enjoying herself so on the I wasn't tired on the way there but on the way back I could not keep my eyes open and it was scary because like my eyes were just like kind of like go low and i was like oh shit i'm driving oh shit i'm driving oh shit i'm driving like i was just so tired so i got home and um 
I had to have my husband go into work an hour late um, so that because the kids were obviously still sleeping um, I got home around I want to say 6 like 5 45 6 um, and he usually leaves for work at 5 45 um, so he was just a little bit late um, going in with the elf power grip primer um, and I just came home and I instantly knocked out I could not keep my eyes open I was so tired and I had went to sleep early the night before because I knew if I'm looking this way it's because I'm looking at my mirror um I knew I had to be up early and she only had like two hours of sleep she was so nervous poor lady she was so anxious and nervous about getting there and flying there and getting there on time and all that jazz so that was that and then yesterday was her birthday we called her me and the kids called her early um and said happy saying happy birthday to her um and i had wish i had could have gone with her but I don't have anybody to watch the kids. So usually the times that we, when me and my husband went to Puerto Rico, she was the one that stayed with the kids for me. So um, I really wanted to go. I mean, I still want to go. I want to go for my birthday, um, which is in two months come July. This Saturday is the first. Um, I do want to go to Puerto Rico for my birthday so god willing i can make it to puerto rico for my birthday i just love my little island i love the culture i love the friendliness i love the food i love everything about it um i'm going in with the estee lauder the smoother universal perfecting primer I got recommended this by one of the girls that I follow on Instagram. It's kind of hard to get this. I had to go to the mall and get it. Um, I'm not even no. I'm not even going anywhere, guys. I'm just doing my makeup just for you guys. Um, I do have to pick up my husband's car from the shop, though. He's using my car, um, and I'm just waiting for the call to go pick up the car. Well, they're going to bring the car to me and then I have to drop the owner back off to the shop because I have my kids and it's a bit of a walk. If it was just me by myself, I would have taken the walk. I don't mind walking as long as I got my music and my ear pods in. I walk the whole world. Um, but yeah, so she's enjoying herself. I think she comes back next tuesday or no sunday i think she comes back sunday the second um at night so i have to pick her up then um i did tell her to bring me back a sweater or a t-shirt you know wreck the puerto rico wreck the puerto rico um i am half puerto rican half dominican so <clears throat> i rep both sides it is what it is um, I don't consider myself one race more than the other race. I do consider myself Puerto Rican and Dominican. Um, so I get along with my Dominican side of the family. I do just my dad and um, two of my uncles. And then one of my uncles, God rest his soul, passed away when I was young. Um, but my dad had met his dad when he was 32, 33. Don't quote me, one of those years or even 33 um it's the first time he met his dad and it's just a whole spiel i don't want to get into it right now but it was just drama so you know we kind of distanced ourselves from them um and then my puerto rican side obviously i grew up with because of my grandmother and um yeah all right my brushes are dirty hmm. time to wash my brushes lazy bitch but i did want to talk about this brush the refi refi brush the hype is not what it's giving i might be using it wrong but i don't like the way this works like i've seen monet 
like just like swirl her foundation in and it blends perfectly i do it and it looks cakey so i spent a good 28 dollars on this brush for nothing it's just sitting there um the brush i do use is my elf airbrush blender and this was only three dollars as you can see i use it so much that's the foundation it used to be i don't even know if it was light or not but yeah and then i have three foundations um i have more foundations but i i use either the lancome taint taint idol ultra wear i use this when i'm going out very you know special events things like that <clears throat> i have the fenty beauty oh, i'll tell you the color i'm in um i am in 425 bisque w in the lancome uh, for fenty beauty i am in the shade 320 and then i have estee lauder double wear stain place makeup in 4n1 shell beige i don't know which one to use um and i also do have an oldie but goodie the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear in 487 and because i'm not going anywhere i'll probably just not waste my expensive foundations and just go in with the um l'oreal it's almost done but first of all, let me color correct because that bitch got some dark circles. Um, just using a Morphe M707 3 4 brush. Looks like that. And then I'm using Bobbi Brown color corrector in peach. And I just use it under my eyes because I have really bad dark circles. Oh, and my eyelashes fell out. Well, my right eye eyelashes fell out first. And then I was like, what the hell? That's why I don't like wearing extensions. I mean, it's good for the people that want to just like wake up and go. You don't got to worry about using strip lashes. But I've been using strip lashes for so long. It takes me only like two minutes, three minutes the most to put them on. Um, But she did a good job. I love the way they came out. But I think the way my eyes are shaped and the oil around my eyes kind of mess up the glue, the, the adhesive. And that's why it doesn't stay. I'm about to just say, use super glue, you know? Um, I have like a small pimple scar right under my lip. And then right there. And then this is a little bit right there. Right here. Um, let me just check on the baby so that he's not climbing on the bunk beds. That's what he knows how to do now. He was walking into the room. I thought I was about to walk out of my room. Hey, baby. Wow. So I'm going to use the Reefy brush to blend the other side. I don't know what you, I don't know what it's called, but I'm just gonna blend that in. Um. So yeah, I forgot where I was going with all that, but um. Today, oh, I didn't even tell you what today is. Today's Thursday, the 29th, and it's 9:15 a.m. Um, I had my nieces, well, they're really my husband's nieces, but they're my nieces as well, um, sleepover the day before yesterday, and because I had to get my husband's car fixed in order for it to get inspected, um, and... I, I left the car with him like around 11 and I called back at like, I mean he called me back ask, telling me, well not asking me, well yeah kind of asking me because um, there was something else that was wrong that they needed to fix and 
it was originally gonna be 800 for everything and um well originally it was gonna be 1500 but he quoted me 800 um and i thought that was a deal for what was wrong with his car um because i went to a dominican spot and they charged they wanted to charge me 850 for the catalytic converter alone and then 250 for the labor i said no thank you and i went elsewhere um so my nose is so itchy and this is why i'm just scratching it with my brush um i don't want to think i don't want you guys to think i'm picking my nose so that's why i'm just scratching it with the brush but yeah so um i went to another place and they quoted me 800 for what was wrong with it and then to inspect it because it does have tinted windows and it's illegal and he didn't want to take them off to then put them back on um so shout out to you um i forgot his name a shout out to you um so um then he called me around two ish and told me that i needed another o2 sensor replaced because they replaced i didn't know that it had two o2 sensors I, i'm not that good with cars um i know the basics um but it needed the other o2 sensor replaced and it you couldn't i asked him i was like is it okay to just leave you know repair one of the o2 sensors and leave it like that and then you know come back another time he was just like you'll burn it out so there's no point and i was just like okay let me call my husband so i called him and i asked him and i told him and he said you know what just get it done so i called the guy back and he was like all right i was like all right you know go ahead and do it so that was that and come six o'clock i haven't got a call from him so i called him and i'm like hey how's it going he's like it's going um the car will be ready tomorrow morning um and we'll inspect it tomorrow morning um you know you have tinted windows i was like i know and so he said this takes time and i was like all right so i let my husband take my car and then um the guy from the shop i explained to him that you know i did need the car eventually because i have children and i got things to do so he said that he would as soon as it was done he'd come over to my house and i just have to drop him off back at the shop so that's that and then i look it looks orange it looks very orange here on the camera but in person it doesn't i'm just gonna add a little bit more on my neck um i haven't tanned much because the sun really hasn't been out and i haven't been out like that like yeah i go grab a couple groceries and things like that and then i'm back home um and i've only been to the beach once and we've been to six flags once um so yeah so just blending everything down onto the neck area so that it matches <laughs> somebody mentioned why am i always wearing my earpods guys i hate the sound of the phone ringing I even hate the sound of vibration. Um, I hate the sound of Siri. I don't know why, it just annoys me. It triggers me. Um, it's probably PTSD. Um, and so I keep my ear, I don't have Siri on. Like when you say, hey Siri, and she responds, I have that turned off. But if I have my ear puns in, obviously she'll tell me that, you know, who's calling or an unknown number is calling or she'll read me the text message and I'm okay with that and I hate being on the phone like this I just hate it so that's why I always have my earpods and plus I'm always listening to music um if I'm not listening at home on my speaker I'm listening on my earpods music is just a way of and I'm just going in with a beauty blender and just tapping the foundation and music just has a way of calming me down I listen to all genres of music from country to Indian 
to obviously Spanish to R&B. R&B is my favorite, 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 favorite genre. And also um, dancehall. Um, and if it's mixed with R&B and dancehall, that's my jam. So I'm gonna put you guys on to, <clears throat> let me just respond to this message. sorry all right so i'm gonna put you on to it just came out yesterday it's uh monroe x cj and capella gray skin out I don't want to get copyrighted uh but that is a summer banger like skin out Whew. yes just replying to messages Um, I just be disassociating. Sorry. That's Karima for ya. Um, so yeah, where were we? Um, yeah, I, so that's why I'm always, I, I, I wear the fuck out of my earpods, okay? I paid the 200 and something. Uh, I don't know if I paid the warranty, uh, but I used the shit out of my earpods. Um, I, I'm gonna use my money's worth, okay? I had the earpods first generation. I wore them bitches out. Now I got the pros, the first gen of the pros. Um, and sometimes they do glitch, like it um, hooks from like Bluetooth. It, like it disconnects and connects by itself. It's annoying. I don't know if that means they're, you know, getting old and I have to get new ones. Um, but yeah, I always have my AirPods in. Sorry, if it bothers you, don't look, don't watch. The hell? Um, I learned this trick, um, especially with this setting spray, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, Party All Night, Stay All Day by Charlotte Tilbury, um, that you're supposed to spray it right after you do your foundation. Um, and that worked for me because I do have oily to combination skin, and this smells like a rich bitch. Um, so, and I'm just gonna use my fan to make it, um, hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? No, you don't play with that. Yeah. 
Don't play with that. Stop it. Um. So that's what I'm doing with that. Um. What else can I tell you guys? Hey. No, don't give me the Saudi potty face. You don't belong playing with that. You want this? Here. Here. Woo. Don't get mad. Where's your bobo? Where's bobo? Aja? 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 Get bobo. Get bobo. He is so smart. He'll be two on New Year's Eve. So he's gonna be 19 months in July. Um, 18 or 19? I don't know. I, I don't do the after. I just be like, he's one and a half. He'll be two and such and such thing. Um, he knows a lot. Um, my older kids, I didn't speak too much Spanish to them, so they don't really know. But with this one, I'll be speaking to him in Spanish. I'd be like, Bianca, allá, dame pampe, que me taipa, over there, come back here. And he listens. So he might just be the one to teach my oldest kids Spanish. Like my kids, my older kids, they understand a lot, but not a lot, a lot, you know what I mean? Which is kind of sad because I, I, I let my grandmother down by doing that. Um, so with with Adrian the baby, I um, I'm speaking more Spanish to him so that he understands. All right, that's dry. It gives off a little bit of a dewy look, but not too much. And that's what I don't. I don't like the dewy look. I like a matte look. I like looking like I'm not wearing makeup. You know. Um, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal ultimate staple i need to buy another one of pure beige and i need to get closer so i'm gonna use a small mirror i got my small mirror on my purse in here um and i'm just gonna conceal under my eyes but yeah I had oh that's what I was saying then. before I started a whole different topic that's my ADHD for you I had my nieces sleep over the day before yesterday um they're both bad as fuck like bad um I love them to death they they're beautiful beautiful little girls but they're just bad and I'm I'm very big on structure and discipline and you better listen type um their mom is kind of lenient um hey baby hey baby oh pick it up baby pick it up pick up um their mom is very lenient I'm not um, so they have been begging my sons over their phones and their tablets if they can sleep over. Ooh, I think I fucked up. Ooh, I think I fucked up. Where are my tweezers? Where are my favorite tweezers? Please hold on a moment while I locate them. I don't like using these. They're not precise. Oh, did I find them? Yes, I found them. These are my favorite tweezers. I've had these for 12 years. They're tweezer men. You can't see it. Can you? Right there. Tweezer men. They're mini. Oh, uh, and that's my. Those are my nails. I don't like them. Um, I went to a new person, and they look like baby shower tables. That wasn't the vision. But it's whatever. Um. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I had them sleep. They were begging each other, you know, begging me, begging each other for them to sleep over my house. And I'm the kind. I'm the aunt. I'm like semi fun but strict aunt. Um. 
I'll let y'all do. You guys, you know, have fun. I got all the snacks. I cook. My house is clean. But if you don't listen, you either can pop, ass whipping, some melatonin, and you're taking your ass to bed. That's me. I'm that. Um, so I caved in and I let them, I picked them up. And why did, oh, my camera's hot. Why does it do that? Um, so whatever, long story short, they slept over. Surprisingly, they behaved. They didn't burn my house down because the little one blew up my microwave. Um, the last time they slept over. Um, so they behaved and I was surprised. And then now my son texted me earlier saying that my oldest niece Dahlia just her she wants to sleep over again and I said I'll think about it um so yeah now I'm doing my eyebrows and before my camera goes off I'm using the Lorac Pro and I'm gonna do this semi off camera with my little thing because you guys already know I just fill in the front and a little bit at the end and that's it But yeah, so I'll think about letting her sleep over. I don't know. But other than that, I've just been mellow. Um, ever since I had that panic attack. I've just been taking it day by day. Um, I had my psychiatrist appointment over the phone the other day I believe it was Tuesday um and I told him about it and the asshole increased my bipolar medication so I gotta deal with that um I don't I told him I didn't want to feel like a zombie any more than I already do feel um he said to give it at least two weeks to kick in and then two more weeks to kind of see a difference um and hopefully it works see i don't do much my eyebrows are very thick and full as it is um yeah so that's that I'm just brushing them out a little bit and then now I'm gonna go in with my makeup shack t42 brush to blend out the concealer um, but what have you guys been up to talk to me I like when you guys talk to me don't be shy you think you're shy you this is not easy just because i'm doing this from my house doesn't mean that i'm not shy i mean i don't even know how many people really watch my videos and who watches my videos this is crazy this was just something i've been wanting to do for a long time and i just said you know what i'm gonna buy a camera and i'm gonna just go for it f what people think f what people gotta say how I live my life, what I choose to post, what I choose to talk about. Fuck it. Fuck them all. I do this for me. My no I think it's allergies. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? But don't be shy and talk to me guys. I wanna hear from you. I, I really do. I wanna know what you guys are thinking, what do you guys wanna see more of um i'm sure that you guys are going to be happy about the updated perfume video um so that you guys can go and i'm using my dual um white to clear glue and you already know i'm just putting it on as if it was an eyeliner
and make it just a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, I do love when you guys communicate with me. I might not get back to you guys right away uh, because I don't have my notifications on and I will be turning them on today um because i had notifications from like three days ago when i responded to them yesterday i'm so sorry guys i'm just trying to get through every day life is hard life is life and take me out i don't want to be an adult no more i want to be a young baby again no responsibilities no bills every time i turn around there's a goddamn bill turn it off we want to live in the woods and I'm not even a nature person I hate bugs they're beautiful but from afar all right so while that gets tacky I'm gonna go ahead with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna speak using the triangle little puffs and then just go under the arm up I don't even know who I'm watching on YouTube right now it's your baby girl where you at I need a video This is where I get the most oily. I almost fucking stay in shop. My cousin's baby shot was beautiful, by the way. I didn't record him because, like I said, I forgot my camera. I look like what's it's, uh, that little character from Saw. Mind your business. Trust the process. Um, it was beautiful. We had fun. Um, she loved all her gifts. I got her a gift card and a card from Target. And I told her to spoil herself because I knew that she was going to get gifts for the baby. But, um, she's planning on having a C-section. So, I wanted for her to spoil herself. So, I got her a gift card. Um, and she loved it. I made sure to write on the card. This is for you. Not for the baby. You. Um, it's good seeing each other. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. And then I'm going in with my all-time favorite lashes from Amazon. I don't know exactly what they're called. I'll pull it up right now. But these are my everyday go-to lashes my camera's getting hot i'm trying to hurry up And that's what they look like. Um, let me see if it has the name on it. Poop launch falls. All right, so I'm recording on my phone because my camera got hot, and I'm trying to balance you guys. Oh, this is annoying. I have a stand for the phone. It's probably a little lopsided, but this is what we're gonna do. I look a hot mess. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, my lashes. They're called Poop Lunch False Eyelashes Fluffy. Yeah, I'll link them down below. Um, and they come in
they come in seven they come seven in a pack now i'm just dusting off the translucent powder and i hate that it covers my beauty mark next to my eye um and i try not to cover it up but it's so light and it's real you know people ask me like did you just put a um did you just like use uh, eyeliner and like no it's real it's just with makeup it covers up Hold on, baby's crying. He's good though. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. So yeah, that, um, you can see it's right there. It looks very light. Why is that white right there? Um, so what I do is I either grab a baby wipe, um, cause I don't know where my makeup wipes went is I go like that with it and I just clean it out see so you can see it there um and then I'm gonna contour my forehead because I have a big forehead um, I'm going in with the NYX matte bronzer. This is a very oldie but goodie. I'm almost done with it. And then I just do this on the top. And then I contour just a little bit right here. A little goes a long way with this. But I like that cheekbone you know um chiseled look i mean my face is kind of strong jawed bitch i make fun of myself before you make fun of me i crack jokes on myself so stop um i make light of any situation i laugh at my own life sometimes it's the way you guys to do it it's the way you guys to do it um so I don't know what I want to do for my lip combo. I don't know if I want to go with my signature look and just blend that up. This is a Morphe and gold brush, fluffy brush. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I didn't do anything. Um, I've been into blush lately, and I'm not a big fan of blush because I like that natural looking look. But I found two blushes that I kind of like. First one is, well, I have three blushes. I'll show you these three if I can find the last one. All right, so the first one I have is uh, Oldie But Goodie as well. You can tell by the packaging. NARS, and this one is in Dolce Vita. Looks like that. Very subtle pink. You know, not too pinky. Then I have the Benefit Georgia Peach. This one has a lot. It's like a peachy pink. Um, It has a lot of shimmer. And I only use this like if I'm going out. Out. 
and I want to look a little bit, you know. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me in Fard A Joy. Oh no, that's how you say <laughs> that's how you say blush in French, I guess. Um, in wine, and it looks like that. So I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, gonna use my Mac one. 10D brush. I think that's what it is. It's kind of like old because it is old. And then just lightly add that to my cheekbones. Gives me that rosy pink. And then just blend it. So you see? I still don't know what I'm wearing. I'm probably just gonna wear sweats and a t-shirt. I just did my makeup for you guys. And just because I wanted to lift my mood up a little bit. Um Alright, so that's that. Um I'm gonna do something else. Oh my lip combo, that's what I was saying. Oh I got I bought this ultra precise bra pencil by Elf and Brunette. Still haven't used it use it eventually i just like using my um the rock pro and i get it off of ebay because it's discontinued mm, sad um all right so let's set and i'm gonna use the poor professional super setter long lasting makeup setting spray um i keep this in my little lip product and there's a lot of the products in here um i don't know what i want to do i want to do my go-to look let's try mixing it up a little bit all right because my go-to look is um cork by mac and london by nyx and then for if i wanted to look matte i just use these two and then if i wanted to look glossy i use the dior lip oil but let's use persona lip liner in 90210 where's my mirror and see what that gives i might like it if it comes out the way i'm thinking And this is like a wine burgundy lip liner. And before you ask, yes, my lips are real. They're natural. Just saying. All right. So that's the lip liner. Let me hydrate my lips a little bit. I'm sorry, they're not dry. Nobody likes dry lips over here, okay? Um, and then going with the next inside. big blender brush and just blend everything in okay and that is the finished look 
I'm like on my eyebrow. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put my hair down. Sorry, I don't know how to record on my phone. I'm used to just seeing the viewfinder on the camera. So, see, like, I'm looking now at the camera. And then over here, I'm looking at the actual, what I look like. So, this is the look. Subtle. Not going anywhere. Look. Um, don't ask me what the hell I'm wearing. Probably just what's in the teeth, like I said. I'm only going to pick up the car. And that's it. Um... But I'll end this here. Thanks for watching. And as always, love always and always. Um, comment down below if you like more of these get ready with me videos. Um, and life updates or hauls and things like that. Um, comment down below um, and I'll do them. Because I'm running out of ideas, guys. I really am. I don't know what else to record. Um, and I don't want my videos to be repetitive. Because uh, that kind of gets annoying. Um, so, yeah. That's all. And bye, guys.